So look at what verse 4 says. Well, let's read verse 3. One of your favorites, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. The visitors, remember when we read those he foreknew, he also predestined and he also called. Well, here it says he chose you before the foundation of the world, repeating the same, the same foundation before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. What was the goal? To be what? To be holy. And tell me something, is that something you accomplish little by little so that one day you can say, oh, he is holy and this one is not? Because that is a position that's been already given to your spirit where you are cleansed, holy, where God is pleased with you, where God doesn't have any issues with you. The things here... In the flesh, you solve them here because if you sow wrongfully, you're going to reap wrongfully because God cannot be mocked. What you sow, you reap. But regarding the other, the spiritual things, God is pleased with you. God made peace with you. You can sleep in peace because if you awaken dead tomorrow, you're going directly to paradise. You don't have to be fearing death or anything. You are without wrinkles and without blemish without blemish. There is no spiritualist, astrologist. There's no one that can affect your spiritual life. You're not a person that has bad luck, that of uh, the bad luck that the influence is against you, that rare gospel of those vain and hollow words, oh, you have an aura, an aura about you. You know those people that manipulate you with their stupidity? Oh, you have an aura that's strong. You have, what do they call that? A, an energy. <laughs> you don't have to be with that garbage. No, my vibration is Ephesians 1.3. 1, 1.4, 1, I'm holy without wrinkles. Well, notice before we weren't without wrinkles and blemish because Adam sinned and he wrinkled you. Christ died and he ironed you. But that is what's normal, right? That without asking you, they wrinkled you. So without asking you, they ironed you. <laughs> without asking you, they ruined you. Well, without asking you, they fixed you. I don't know what's your battle. Why battle? If all things have been made new, what you have to do is believe what God says about you that is written there. 